Plot thickens at the IRS. This just in, Lois Lerner warned IRS workers to be cautious about what they say in emails. Now, that stunning news coming out of today's explosive hearing. Republican lawmakers once again grilling IRS Commissioner John Kuskinen about Lerner's emails. Here's what happened. March 28th, the IRS gets a heads up. The inspector general caught him. Because we asked the inspector general to do the audit, he caught him targeting conservative groups. And now Lois Lerner says, you know what? I better double check and make sure this intra-office instant messaging, that that can't be traced, that can't be tracked. And all I want to know is why the commissioner took six months to get us this information. We could have had this six months ago when we first issued the subpoena when you took over. And we don't. And, and we're, we're supposed got, to believe, we, we're, we're working, supposed to believe she's saying, oh, perfect. We we're working our way through and have completed the production for tax writing committee. Yeah, so you, you give us this 000, on July 3rd, 63, 4 o'clock, the day before the have, holidays, when you give us 15,000, we see them. And you're going to get more. And joining us, TeaParty.net Executive Director Niger Innes. Niger, you watched most of the hearings today. What do you think? I thought uh, that Jim Jordan was spot on, and it was quite embarrassing for a government official, for the, uh, an IRS official and commissioner, uh, to be caught looking so embarrassed. I mean, what, Laura, uh, what Lois Lerner did as an outgoing official and private citizen in taking the Fifth Amendment is one thing. She has that constitutional right as a private citizen. But the fact that she uh, possibly committed obstruction of justice and certainly obstruction of getting to the truth and finding out what is happening uh, at the IRS it with this outrage and, and targeting conservative and other uh, Tea Party groups, right. uh, it, it, well, it's an absolute outrage and it's, it's a total embarrassment. All right. Well, let me give you the let me give you the timeline of why a special prosecutors need March 28th. She, they get the heads up. This IG report is coming down April 2013, which is the next month. She warns colleagues about emails and texts. What they say may be subpoenaed or may be obtained by Congress. So she's warning them. In May, she knows the IG, IG report is coming. She plants a question so that she can get out ahead of the IG report. And as soon as she plants a question, the AP reports that day, IRS apologizes for inappropriately targeting conservative political groups in 2012 election. Then in a conference call with reporters later that day, the same day of the plan, she says why she, why she issued the apology. And she says, I was asked a question at the ABA meeting to give a status update of things that have been in the press. She wasn't asked it. She planted the question. And then she says that she was asked why the IRS chose to make an apology that day. She said, someone asked me a question today, so I answered. That is a deliberate lie. She was absolutely deceitful. And for the IRS commissioner and anybody else to not be pushing for a special prosecutor this timeline is absolutely appalling. I don't know what's going on with, uh, with this commissioner or with uh, Eric Holder on this, but I'll let you respond to it. Uh, uh, Niger, well, I don't Eric Holder is asleep at the switch on this and a number uh, of issues, and there should absolutely be a special prosecutor. There should be a, a special co a select committee uh, that has Republicans and Democrats. And let me say, look, it was conservative groups that were uh, attacked, that were targeted. My group, uh, the Tea Party dot net, for three years we were denied access to a 501c3 uh, status. We finally got it after we threatened to sue the IRS. They sent an agent to our our office you know, demanded to look at our emails, demanded to look at our uh, Facebook posts, so now, uh, uh, which is an infringement you know, you, on our you First say, Amendment. But we were able to get it because we had the power of 2.5 million members, and we were able to threaten them with a lawsuit, and then they granted us that C4 status. How many other mom-and-pop conservative groups, smaller conservative groups that don't have the resources that we had, uh, were, were intimidated and didn't, were not able to Niger, get that C4 I, I'm status? Gonna I'm going to take the last word. You say that, uh, that uh, Attorney General... Eric Holder's asleep at the wheel. I don't think so. I think he's deliberately blocking this. This timeline alone, the deliberate planting of a question to get out ahead of it, and then the lying about it and saying, well, someone just asked me about it. There is so much deceit there. There's unbelievable deceit. And for Eric Holder just to sit there and block it is absolutely appalling. But like I said, Nigel, I'm taking the last word on that. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you, Greta.